Texans think big. In the 1830s, the president of the Republic of Texas dreamed of an empire that would stretch all the way to the Pacific. It didn't quite get there. It stopped at the banks of the Rio Grande. But that left plenty of wide open spaces covered by wide open skies. In the 1930s, the University of Texas received a bequest from another dreamer to take advantage of those wide open skies. Using the inheritance from banker William J. McDonald, the university established McDonald Observatory in the Davis Mountains, 450 miles west of the Austin campus. When McDonald opened in 1939, it had the second largest telescope in the world. The Texas Astronomy Program has grown a lot since then. The Department of Astronomy has built one of the world's largest astronomy education programs on the Austin campus. McDonald Observatory also operates one of the world's largest outreach programs, with extensive visitor programs, a daily radio program, a magazine, and special programs for teachers. McDonald has added a variety of telescopes to the original 82-inch reflector at its research campus near Fort Davis. That includes the Hobby Eberly Telescope, which has an effective aperture of 9.2 meters, one of the largest in the world. But an innovative design kept the cost far below that of other giant telescopes. The HET is embarking on a project with another big idea a quest to solve one of the greatest mysteries in science, the mystery of dark energy. Dark energy is our ignorance of what's going on in the universe right now. We think we have an idea for how the universe is supposed to expand, and so when we try to, to measure how fast the universe is actually expanding, it's wrong. It's actually expanding faster than what we think it should be, and that is what we call dark energy. That's Carl Gebhardt, one of the leaders of HETDEX, the Hobby Eberly Telescope Dark Energy Experiment. Using the HET, astronomers will plot the positions of a million galaxies. All the galaxies are billions of light years away, so we see them as they appeared when the universe was much younger. The maps of these galaxies will reveal how fast the universe was expanding at different times. Understanding how the expansion rate has changed will help scientists understand the nature of dark energy. HETDEX is scheduled to begin collecting data late next year and finish its work about three years later, far earlier than any other major dark energy project. HETDEX is a collaboration with several partner universities, including Texas A&M. The Texas universities are also working together as part of an international consortium to build an even bigger telescope, the GMT. McDonald director David Lambert explains what the project is about. GMT stands for Giant, emphasis on Giant Magellan Telescope. The telescope uh, will consist of seven 8.3 meter mirrors on a single steerable mount. That's equivalent to a single aperture of somewhere like 24 meters. So it will collect five times more light than the GT. In the infrared, it will image objects roughly 10 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. Its two major goals are to look far away, early in the history of the universe, to see how the first stars and the first galaxies formed, and also to use the exquisite sharpness of the images to isolate planets around nearby stars and to provide images of those planets. GMT is already under development. It'll be built in the Andes Mountains of Chile. That may be a long way from Texas, but even the Rio Grande can't hold in the big ideas of the Texas Astronomy Program. <laughs>